coverage you can count on. Mobile police are investigating a concert shooting that resulted in five teenagers shot and two trampled last night at the Grand Hall. One of the shooting victims remains hospitalized tonight in critical condition. Of the five shot, one sustained a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police believe that's accidental. Those injured range in age from 15 to 18. Police say shots were fired both inside the building and in the parking lot. There were about three to four hundred people there. A private company coordinated the event as a teen Easter bash concert. No arrest has been made in this case. News 5's Katerina Lukatic shares witness accounts of what it was like as the gunfire rang out. It was supposed to be a fun concert for teens, but things escalated quickly with fights breaking out in the parking lot. We called, called the law before the um, before even started the shooting even started. But I'm saying, but it. By the time they got here, it was, it was, it was already in, in the mix. Witnesses say the gunfire started in the parking lot but quickly moved inside of the building at the Grand Hall. One of the guys rushed inside with the crowd and started shooting on the inside. I heard gunshots. Bow, 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 bow. Maybe five or six gunshots. From there, witnesses say it was chaos. And they started shooting again. I jumped over behind the bar and people were jumping over on top of me. Burying me. People just pile up. But the shooting inside the building wasn't over just yet. If I left that spot, they'd come again. It must have been about three or four waves of violence. With gunfire happening inside and outside the building, it was a scary night for the hundreds at the event. Police saying with so many shots fired, it's amazing more people weren't hit. In Mobile, Katerina Lukatic, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on. News 5 has coverage you can count on. More than 23,000 people watched our Facebook Live of the Grand Hall shooting overnight, and another 6,000 watched MPD's news conference this morning on our Facebook page. This story is still developing. Be sure to check back with WKRG News 5, our website, WKRG.com, and our Facebook fan page.